Ryan are here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks, and we're up by the uh, dealer here again. Oh, look at that lovely, lovely lineup of equipment here. Ain't that pretty? Uh, anyway, uh, as I mentioned here last uh, episode, we've been needing some equipment here, I think. Uh, one of which has been a loader and or skid steer, so of course I went with the uh, skid steer. Uh, if you've been paying attention, it has been sitting up at the shop here for, I don't know, a couple episodes now. It's been here, I just haven't taken the time to uh, drag it home, so we're going to do that here this episode. Uh, I probably should also get a bucket for it here. I did not do that yet, so let's get a bucket. Let's see what's here. Skid steer. Uh, what do we got for buckets? I, I, I don't really even know. Ooh, we actually got a Massey Ferguson bucket for it. Okay, cool. Uh, universal shovel, eh? Well, it seems like I'm going to get the uh, big one. I don't see what. Oh, and there's a... Wait, it keeps the, hmm, okay, I did not realize there was one of those. Well, let's, uh, let's go for that then. We'll put the, uh, put the Massey Ferguson right on it, the little strip in the middle stays yellow. Oh, well, uh, let's buy that. Whoa, that is an expensive bucket. Oh, my goodness, okay. And we'll get that in red as well. Actually, are there any more uh, good pieces that go with this uh, particular? Oh, there's actually pallet forks too, so I didn't actually have to buy the uh, in-game ones, did I? Oh, well, that's fine. I already bought them. Not nah, going to worry about it. Um... So yes, we got a bucket and a weight. I'm assuming that weight just goes on the back here then. I'll just uh, check this out here a minute. And we do need a few other uh, pieces of equipment here as well, hopefully. So this is not the only thing we're going to be uh, buying. Oh, yeah, that seems a little heavy on the back. Okay. And then uh, in uh, typical fash uh, fashion here, let's see if this works. Hmm. But wait for the uh, buck to spin around here. Oh my goodness, what is causing that spinning? That is annoying. There we go, dump it on the forks, that works. Uh, we'll just uh, leave that here for the moment. Uh, yes, we still have the uh, 30 series tractors up here yet. Uh, they have not been fixed yet, so uh, they are just uh, sitting there. Okay, so anyway, back to the shop here. Uh, we need, let's see, plows? No, I believe I'm going to... Cultivators. Is that the category it's under here? Find out. Maybe that's not. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, I mentioned we're going to get another uh, 37 disc here, so we're going to buy one of those. Yes. Check. And then also a planter here as well. So to cedars. Let's see. Do we got enough money? I think we got enough money for this, right? Ah, there it is. The uh, John Deere 8350. I'm hoping we can uh, pull this with our uh, John Deere two-cylinder tractors. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, 60 horsepower claims in the game here. Actually, seems like a bit much 60 horsepower, but uh, okay. Oh, well, let's see what's here. Do we need anything else? We got a disc. We got a planter. And we got a skid steer. We're looking pretty good, right? Let's grab a truck inside the shop here and uh, tow some of this equipment home. Oh, we should probably get some seed and fertilizer for... That uh, planter here as well. You know what? Under was it this category? Yes, under this category we got bags of seed, and then uh, we'll grab some fertilizer here as well. Okay, there we go. And let's get our uh, Ford back out here. Oh, what trailer do we want to use here? Use the use this one last time, right? Grab the uh, PGA trailer this time, then maybe, hopefully... Actually, is that disc? That disc might not fit up on here. Good steer should, though. Get our uh, delivery vehicle out here. Uh, and the planter, yes, I know the planter definitely will not fit. We can tow that home with our truck, though. That should be fine for that. Okay, so let's get the... Uh, I think we'll just put the uh, kid steer up there first. What are the chances that bucket's going to stay on the uh, forks there? Nah, not the greatest. Right. Uh, oh, well. We'll just uh, throw that up there by hand in a moment. And yeah, we'll see once how this uh, skid steer uh, works out. I don't know if folks can hear the sound there, but it, it sounds like the hydraulics are working, even though they're not doing anything right at the moment. So, also it is, uh, if you ask me for an old looking skid steer like this, everyone, it is bloody expensive. Oh my goodness, let's uh, just take a quick look at it in the shop here. Skid steers, 
Got $25,000 for that uh, contraption. $25,000. I was like, why do I want to even buy that when I can get another one or a new one for uh, you know a little bit more money? But uh, that's one side to go with. So, at least for now, anyway. Drop the bucket there. <laughs> kind of in the way of our tractor. Uh, okay, so we need to get a uh, disc up there, hopefully, as well. Got uh, we got a nice uh, selection of tractors here. I think we can uh, do that with. We'll just uh, we'll just borrow one of these here a moment. What a nice uh, 9RT. That should be able to pull that disc. Uh, a 94, 9470RT. Actually, it probably actually won't be able to pull that disc in real life uh, because the hitch won't. Well, I suppose we could put a smaller hitch pin in it. Yeah, I'd have to do that, right? No way probably the uh, hitch pin on this tractor is going to fit through this uh, disc. Uh, you know what? Let me back it up, I guess. And I'm sure the planter won't fit up there, by the way, so that's why I'm not even going to bother trying with that. Uh, this disc is not exactly going to fit up there either, is it? Okay. Well, might still be able to get it up there. Oh, it doesn't exactly uh, sit right, does it? Oh, well, close enough. Maybe we should have towed that home, too. Figured I could uh, make this in uh, fewer trips this way, hopefully. Okay, and then uh, to the farm we go. And speaking of the farm there, we should have some hired workers working on various tasks there. We got uh, fertilizer going down. Uh, by fertilizer, I mean manure going down on a couple of the fields. Whoa, whoops. Didn't have the hitch back quite far enough there. Yeah, that disc definitely doesn't quite uh, sit right, does it? doesn't help either. The tires are, like, hanging off the side. So, oh, well. And we'll try not to lose any of our uh, new, well, not exactly new equipment here, is it? We'll try not to lose any of it between uh, here and the farm. Oh, that disc is bouncing around a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder if it's actually like, uh, it might actually be like hitting the ground every now and then, I bet. I bet that's what's going on. Because notice how far down them tires are. Oh boy, there goes another road sign. You folks didn't see that. You did not see that. Eh, it was just a stop sign anyway. We don't need those. Okay, we're almost uh, to the farm here. And we didn't actually lose anything. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll uh, see once if we can uh, break out the uh, tractor that's hiding in the shed here. I think I've been uh, mentioning this here the last episode or two. Yes, you folks probably have seen it. There is a uh, tractor hiding in the shed here. Speaking of tractors, there actually is another tractor I want to purchase as well now that I think about it. We got the Alice Chalmers WD-45. I don't know if this will pull this disc or not, but um, I figured it could be close to being able to, right? Ooh. Interesting uh, steering there. If it'll even uh, connect to it. Uh, unfortunately, I do wonder if this tractor will have the same problem uh, like the John Deere two cylinders have, where you know it, it can pull it, but uh, it is too low of a hitch and it doesn't actually, unfortunately, work. We'll see once if that's going to be the case here or not. Uh, I'll take care of uh, driving the truck back to the dealer here between uh, episodes. Won't bother uh, wasting time this episode on that. Let's uh, go back to the dealer here, grab our truck. Oh, we need to grab the scene fertilizer too, don't I? I forgot about that. I should have thrown that on this trailer. Um, oh, well. Uh, 
Let's see what's there. There's our truck. Might as well just uh, fill up the fertilizer right here. How much is it going to hold? 830. Oh, come on now. Really? It could, it could hold like an even 1,000? Of course not. Uh, of course not. Oh, that's cool. That actually takes the banks off there. That is cool. Okay, 830 seeds as well. In that case, let's uh, have the uh, dealer load up the remaining uh, pallets in the back of our truck here then. Or at least uh, try to here anyway. We got our uh, John Deere uh, 3200 telehandler here. Really not going to slide down the forks any further than that. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Gotta love Giants physics. This should be interesting. There's a reason why I don't typically handle stuff like this. Uh, physics in the game are just uh, so, uh, so fun to deal with, you know? Oh, really? I'm not even, I'm not even touching the truck and it's going down. Weird. We'll just let it slide off the fork so that should work, right? Boom. Got it. Uh, not really room for the seeds, is there? Okay, we'll have to come back for that sometime. I'm sure the dealer will be more than happy to uh, load us up for load that up here at a later date. And let's put some straps on that too while we're at it. Okay, that shouldn't be able to go anywhere. And let's uh, take our cedar home here. Be the uh, fastest of this uh, cedar rubber go here. Oh, speed limit sign. Yeah, we didn't need that anyway. How fast were we supposed to go? Ah, oh, good. Floor it. Hope there's no one else coming down the road here because we're kind of uh, taking up the entire road. Hey, I, I figure we pay taxes. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, okay, we haven't really paid our taxes recently, but uh, I mean, we're supposed to pay our taxes and that's supposed to cover the roads, right? So we own it. Oh, and speaking of equipment here as well, everyone, I just realized uh, something else I need to uh, replace here as well. I've got another updated version of the uh, New Holland baler and uh, trailer, so I'm going to have to uh, repurchase them again here. Uh, I might as well do that this episode here too while I'm at it before I uh, forget here. I'll just probably drive them home. I'm not going to bother loading them up because uh, I've already repurchased those a couple of times here now. So uh, let's disconnect that uh, planter there seen fertilizer around here somewhere. Where did I uh, leave the rest of our pallets at? Eh, I can stay in the back of the truck for now, I guess. Uh, yeah, real quick here, before I forget, like I said, let's uh, go ahead and repurchase that baler here. Uh, it's been updated uh, from what I've been told here to the FS19 standards, so I'm not entirely sure what that all means, but updated the Farming Simulator 19 standards, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. And I'll have to remember here, I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of money back in. And then I do want, oh, I'm not going to be able to, uh, we had three of them. Okay, let me, uh, we'll just uh, in game here real quick, borrow a little bit of money. And I'll have to add like another uh, $10,000 in here for uh, re having to repurchase this. It's been kind of the uh, story of this uh, series here so far. Uh, well, that looks different. Ah, okay. I guess uh, it's been updated so you have racks and no racks. Cool. Uh, let's put the racks on it then. I think that looks a little better if you ask me. Uh, seeing as how the uh, the baler does have a thrower. Ooh, wait. Did, did I purchase the baler with a thrower? Because that was an option, wasn't it? Some weird looking tires on there. Yeah, let's go with the weird looking tires. Uh, main color, rim color. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Can we put it in John Deere green? We can. Kind of like the red trailer myself, so we'll go with that. One. 
two. We're gonna have enough money to make three. Uh, just enough money for three. Okay, like I said, everyone, I'll have to remember to add in the money for that again, because again, we did already own it. It just uh, doesn't have the option. I thought there was an option on it before. Maybe the uh, like I said, maybe that got taken off because it, it wasn't compatible or something. So, oh well, whatever. That's fine. That's the uh, configuration I want anyway. Works for me. Okay, speaking of working, let's see if the Salos Chalmers will. Like we got a field right here we can now uh, put it on. Not sure if this tractor's going to have enough horsepower for this or not. Hopefully it will. I mean, technically, uh, if we're going real life, this disc is definitely a little big for this tractor, but... I don't know if I can get anything much smaller in the game here or not. I'm not sure on that. Oh, hey, look at that. It does pull up. And it works. It does work as well. Hey, look at that. Okay. Actually pulls up pretty good. Nice. Tires are bouncing around a little weird, but... Okay, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's go with that. We'll leave him, uh, or actually her, I guess it is, to it. And let's uh, see once who else needs to get to work here. So you are probably the... Slurry spider, yep, let's get you uh, rehired here so you can uh, finish up this. Not exactly sure what part you're on, but let's just get you maybe uh, restarted back up here. And the 4440 is sitting in the middle of the field there doing nothing. Am I just imagining things there? I'd go uh, keep an eye on that uh, 4440 because uh, I think it's not doing its job from what I'm seeing from here. Okay, rehire the worker. We'll leave him to it. And what are you doing? Uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Hmm. Okay, note to self. Another uh, tractor I want to uh, see if I can adjust the dirt texture on here as well. Uh, we're not quite sure. This must be the same brand of tractor as that other uh, brown tractor we have, or we're, we're assuming here. Kind of hard to tell, you know. Uh, I did have this on course play, but did I forget to... Uh must have forgot to save the course play course. Let's see if we can just have a hired worker finish it here. Although it looks like maybe not, because uh, apparently the hired worker doesn't back up with it or something. Oh, really? Four miles? Oh, my goodness. Crank that speed up. My goodness. And then we should have the John Deere. Yeah, John Deere 620 with a wide front is over here. Putting uh, manure down on this field. There was putting manure down. Of course, we got the uh, Oliver Spreader here. Okay, hire a worker there again, too. Hopefully, he'll uh, finish that up. And what are you doing? 3010. Oh, you probably have the other disc. Yes, you do. Okay. See if we can uh, get you to finish this uh, top portion of the field here, then. And yes, everyone, I know I mentioned might be getting to uh, harvest in our new field here this episode. I think I'm going to save that for next episode. We're going to try next episode to get into that. Uh, again, I'm going to put our current 925 head from our 80, 8820 there on the 9650 STS. Uh, it, it says it's a 925 head, everyone. It, it's probably more like a 930, 935 based on its actual width. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to bring the 9650 down there. But uh, like I said, I think we'll, we'll save that for next episode. Uh, so yeah, this episode, I do want to finish getting the animals uh, cleaned out if we can, so let's, uh, get this, uh, bucket off here. We'll just, uh, drag that off until it spins around here, and then we'll get it in the right orientation. Perfect. Now, let's see how this, uh, Massey Ferguson, uh, skid steer works that, uh, ooh. Yep, yeah, okay, no, we're good. I was like, wait a minute, did I put the, uh, ramps down? I did, good. Uh, where should I store these forks at here? That's a good question. Um, 
That is a good question. You know what? Let me just uh, set him in front of the shop here for now. Hopefully I won't tell, lose him that way then. Nope. Wrong piece. Let's, uh, let's try that again. That one? There we go. Yeah, definitely very, very overpriced uh, skid steer, if you ask me. Just uh, given how old this thing... I mean, it doesn't really... It's got, like, a cover on it, I guess, for a cab. But it's not really a cab, because that engine's, like, wow, right behind you. Oh, I would hate to have to uh, run this skid steer in real life. Uh, you can get this on the uh, Farming Simulator Mod Hub, by the way. The official Farming Simulator Mod Hub. That's where this uh, comes from. And um, I'm just assuming that probably means it's available for the console then as well. I'm not sure on that. A lot of times, it's, if it is on there, it will be available for the console. So, unfortunately, you know, at least on the PC side, it doesn't really tell you if it is or not. So, I don't know for sure. But, ooh, we'll touch you with the controls there. Let's try that again. Doesn't actually seem to uh, run the controls very good. Not smooth for some reason. I don't think that's... I don't know. I guess I'd have to have another... Uh, really? Oh, it's not actually dumping it in there, is it? Ew. Well, that's, uh, that's annoying. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to, like, dump it right here. I just assumed I would have uh, dumped it in the trough, but uh, uh, I guess the trough doesn't actually have a trigger on it, does it? So, okay. Note to self. Troth does not have a trigger. Just dump it back on the ground. Uh, well, that should hopefully clean up the cows here then. That should be good. Uh, chickens, uh, they need a little bit of cleaning. And the horses, I don't think they need any cleaning, do they? Nope. Don't clean the horses. Do clean the chickens. Spin this around here and head over to the chickens here a minute. Yeah, I don't know if you folks can hear that or not, but you hear, like, the sound of the hydraulics running... Again, I, I'm not moving anything on the controls. I don't know what is up with that. It seems a little odd. And, you know, get, given the fact that this came off the farming semen mod hub, uh, I would have thought it had been fairly air-free, but I'm thinking either I've got a mod conflict going on here, which is always possible, or something's wrong with it. Also seems rather slow on the hydraulics here as well, given the... Uh, oh, you know what? just happened to realize it probably shouldn't... We'll just dump it right here. Don't dump it in the trough there either, probably. Although that trigger might actually... That one, yeah, that one might actually take it in the trough. Hard to say. Okay, we'll just uh, park this in the uh, shop here. Sounds like it needs some maintenance anyway, so... <laughs> Remember, does this door actually open? I don't... Uh, does it? It does. Okay, cool. I'll just leave it shut for now. Yeah, that'll work nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Where are we at here? 20? Yeah, okay. We got some more time yet to uh, do a little more planting. Uh, John Deere 60? No. I was thinking probably... Well, I guess we could use the John Deere 60. That uh, that might work. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll take this John Deere 60 here. Let's see if that'll uh, pull our new uh, cedar. I would think it would, hopefully. If not, we can put uh, try a 20 series on it. We got a narrow series 20 around here somewhere I don't think we're using. Ah, oh, gotta love that sound, right, everyone? Gotta love that sound. Ooh, look out. I mean, you know, not, as far as, like, actually farming in real life, not necessarily maybe the most practical of tractors anymore, but uh, it, it is still fun to hear their sound. Okay, and I figured let's uh, do soybeans here. At least that, at least that was my plan here. We're gonna put uh, soybeans on our big field, field number one there. And I was thinking I was gonna do corn on the uh, contours again. And I don't know what we're gonna do on the other fields yet. Haven't gotten that far, but uh, corn on the contours. Get it? Corn on the contours. And then uh, soybeans on field one here. 
Uh, the 4440 is stuck again, isn't it? Oh, boy. Okay. Apparently, the 4440 doesn't turn with a hired worker. Bummer. And I must not have saved that uh, course play course for him, because earlier that I misnamed it. Uh, that's a bummer. Okay. Double check here. It Field two, field three, field three, field four, field four. Yeah, I don't have a field. Field contour 12. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, well. That's a bummer. I could regenerate here, but he's like so close to being done. It's like, just hire a worker. Do, do your job. Actually, why did he stop this time? I don't know. Good question. Oh, this uh, this cultivator apparently is uh, some unknown brand as well, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Some uh, mod authors in their dirt textures, they uh, they get a little dirty. Which actually, uh, from uh, the explanation in the comments, I think we probably have a pretty good explanation as to why. That's kind of the uh, default, I guess. Door needs to be unfolded. Nothing on this thing that needs to be unfolded. There we go. There also isn't really technically anything that necessarily needs to be turned on either. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow. Look at that high speed seating action there with the John Deere 60. 10 mile an hour. Woohoo. Some high speed seating action going on there. Again, probably a real a little fast here for a real life, but I mean come on now, everyone. If, if we're gonna do any seating, I'd, I'd like to go. Yeah, 10 miles an hour is pretty good speed to go, if you ask me. Anywhere from 8 to 12. Go any slower than that, then it, it starts feeling a little slow in the game here. I mean, I like to keep it uh, somewhat realistic, but uh, again, I don't want it to take, you know, forever. Yeah, we'll probably maybe uh, try to make like two rounds around the field here. We'll throw a hired worker on this, see what's how it does. Uh, a little concern here probably with the uh, John Deere here in the narrow front. So we'll see what's what it does with a turning radius and a hired worker. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what's what it does here, I guess. It's probably been one of the uh, more annoying things here on this series here so far. Everyone, just so much equipment here that is not working well with a hired worker because it doesn't turn. It's like, really? What is up with all this equipment that doesn't turn? Uh, I'm not sure if it's the tractor's fault or the equipment's fault here at this point, but, uh, wow. Oh, yeah, you get that uh, tractor working there now. Actually doing uh, too bad on the uh, seed usage here, are we? Doesn't look like it. Should be pretty good. I was wondering how far around the uh, field we would make it here, but it looks like it's actually pretty good. Oh, and I just looked up at the uh, HUD there again. It's still showing sunshine and rain. Yeah, what is up with that? Sunshine and rain both at once. Must mean it's going to rain here. I'm assuming that's what it means. It's a little odd though because it's off the HUD. Not sure why it's doing that. Probably another uh, mod conflict of some sorts, I'm guessing, there. Probably make a little better use of my uh, width here as well, from the looks of it. 
Eh, we don't need to be planting that much into the grass there along the side of the field. Oh, wow. Uh, anyone looking at the uh, sower repair percentage there? I just looked at that, everyone. Wow, 12.7% already? We, we haven't even got... Uh, well, this tractor's got 0.2 hours on it. Yeah, we, we, we don't have a probably a tenth of an hour on this series. What, what have we got here? Five minutes on this planter already? Whoa. Fourteen point three percent. Interesting. Yeah, definitely thinking. What I should probably really do, everyone, is like have a pen and pencil here, just so I can make note of the mods we need to make some adjustments on. Yeah, because the old, the problem always is I finish the record and it's like, okay, wait a minute, what mods did I say needed to be fixed again? I can never remember when I'm done recording what mods. Uh, during the episode, like I noticed, you know, like okay, this or that, uh, like the repair there. Uh, clearly, this one needs some adjustment uh, as far as repair goes, because wow, that's uh, that's breaking down way too quick, if you ask me. I mean, one pass around the field, and uh, we're at 16 percent. Seems a might uh, might excessive, if you ask me. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, probably need to fix that 44-40 again, don't we? Yep, he is, uh, he's not, uh, doing so well. Starting to wonder here, I wonder, is this, like, maybe a mod conflict that's causing the issue with backing up? Because, or am I just, uh, like, doing a really bad job at picking equipment here, this, uh, series that doesn't back up well? Because we're, like, having this problem with, like, almost all our equipment, it seems like. Just, uh, and this is a little bit wider piece of equipment, too. Wouldn't think you'd have as much problems with it, but... Oh, well. Uh, anyway, everyone, looking at the time here, it is time to wrap it up for this episode. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.